In Portage, the policy on liquor licenses, once considered conservative, could see a major change over the next month as council members consider doubling the number of liquor licenses. But liquor stores in town say not so fast. Here's the night team's Leah Linshide. The goal of a new Portage proposal is to bring more liquor sales to the city. But some stores say it could close their doors. Dan Daly is a connoisseur of liqueur. Like Silver Oak, Cabernet. The master of Merlot. This is all bourbon and stuff up here. Portage's purveyor of all things alcohol. Been here for over 36 years, so I must be doing something right. A current moratorium on city liquor licenses makes Daly one of only two liquor stores in the city, for now. It, it's going to be really hard for, for me to bear. A new proposal to double the number of available licenses from 10 to 20 might move in on his piece of the portage pie. What's it going to do if you add all these businesses? It's going to take away the, the value of your business. I mean, that's a no-brainer. We could double our sales in Portage if we had an open liquor license. Council members say the change could convince more business to come to town. They point to an independent report of city alcohol sales that says Portage's potential reaches $2.6 million, but it's currently only bringing in $1.3. So I don't think we want to restrict people from contemplating coming to Portage to do business. $1.3 million in the city? I said, I saw more than that. Daly disputes those numbers. He maintains a flood of new liquor licenses might drown his bourbon business. New business is fine, but what about retention? I just don't buy it. Council members say a vote on the proposal could come in the next few weeks. In Portage, I'm Leah Lynchide for WISC News 3.